Imagine waking up from your bed and finding people rushing and jostling towards the grocery store on the outside to purchase their daily needs as if there will be no tomorrow. That's frightening. But you should always prepare for the worst. And right now the whole world is engulfed in a pandemic called coronavirus. This pandemic comes from the Latin word pandemos pan, meaning all and endemos is meaning people, which sums up the meaning a contagious disease hitting a large number of people generally worldwide. Just like you might prepare for a hurricane or an ice storm, you can prepare for a pandemic, too. So here are the things you need to do. 1. Keep calm pandemics can be nerve-wracking, especially if you don't know what to expect. But try to keep a cool head. Panicking can sometimes cause people to freeze up or make rash decisions that put them at unnecessary risk. Even if things feel out of your control, there are steps you can take to prepare. Focus on that. 2. Stay informed by reliable, fact-based sources Accurate information is crucial during, and leading up to, a pandemic. Having solid intel can help you make sure you're doing the right things to stay safe and understand what risk, if any, there is for you and your family. But it's not always easy. In the early stages of a pandemic, there are often a lot of unknowns. It might not yet be clear what the pathogen is, how it spreads, or who is most at risk. Protect yourself from inaccurate or misleading information by visiting the websites of health agencies like the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC), the World Health Organization (WHO), listening to experts in infectious disease like scientists, health officials, or health care providers rather than your friend or neighbor. 3. Stock up on essentials during a pandemic. You may want to reduce grocery runs to avoid exposure to people or stay at home home to protect others if you do get sick. Supply shortages and cleaned out store shelves might also make it tough to find what you need in the moment. Keeping extra essentials at home can help ensure you have what you need, when you need it. Make sure you keep two weeks worth of food and water for everyone in your home, including pets, a continuous supply of prescription medications and hygiene products, including two to four weeks worth of hand soap, shampoo and sanitizers. 4. Face masks While wearing face masks can help someone who is actively sick from infecting others around them, it typically doesn't protect healthy individuals from getting infected with a respiratory virus out in public. 2. Poor fit, facial hair, and clumsy mask removal can all greatly reduce the effectiveness of masks at preventing infection. Also never hoard masks. Buying a bunch of face masks when you likely don't need them results in shortages for people who do. 5. Make a plan Things can move quickly during a pandemic. Make plans for what you will do in the event, you're off work for days or weeks because you're sick or businesses are shut down and you don't get paid leave. Schools or child care facilities close, and you need alternative child care. You get sick and are unable to care for someone who relies on you, your health care provider is unable to see you or a family member if you get sick, all of these will be easier if you're in good contact with friends, family, and co-workers or employers. 6. Follow the instructions of health officials during a pandemic. They might issue recommendations or policies to limit the spread of the disease, such as, isolation or quarantine protocols to follow to contain the spread of disease contact tracing. This process involves asking those who are sick, or could be, where they have been or who they have been around. Health officials use this information to identify others who might be infected with the pathogen so that they can be contacted and potentially tested or quarantined. 7. Practice preventive measures Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, or use alcohol-based hand sanitizer, avoid touching your face, cover your cough and sneezes with a tissue or with the inside of your elbow, avoid close contact at least 6 feet of distance, avoid crowded spaces and sick people and stay home as much as possible. All these require proper mindset and a calm approach. A pandemic can only be defeated then only.